Nobody keeps it out of There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That soul free voice that you're hearing right now. It's a Tony Award winning, primetime Emmy Award winning, Golden Globe nominated, well rounded renaissance man, have the B. Yes. Born in the birthplace of hip hop. <laughs> the Bronx, New York, ladies and Woo! gentlemen. Woo! And he's here with us today, the one and only Hal Linden is here! Hey! hey! How you doing, Mr. Linden? I'm holding up. I'm holding up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some, hey, holding up is better than sitting down. Shark has pretty teeth, dear. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How Linden is here, man. Um, I wanted to play that clip because I, I first got to know you as a as a youth. And uh, my, my uh, great uncle, Silas Murph, used to love watching Barney Miller. <sighs> Oh man, fish, all those guys from Barney Miller. Oh, we can we can play a little bit. Yo, fade that down, hold up, man. Is, is that not like the best TV theme song ever, in your opinion? You know, and the, the interesting part about it is the most noticeable or memorable part of that is the opening, right? Yeah. The bass. Yeah. You know that was a head arrangement? That uh, it wasn't written. It wasn't written. When they went in to record it, uh -huh. it started with the with the rhythm. Uh-huh. And at the last minute, the producer said, you know, you ought to, I don't know, got two bars, bring, bring it in, lead in, give me an intro. Uh-huh. And they said to the bass player... Give me four bars leading into just any day, he, and he improved that, and he just did it, and that's the most memorable part of it. Let me play that again on cue. Let me hear that part right here. We just got some Barney Miller history right there. There you go. Wow, man! I, hey, man. You By see, the way, I don't think you got paid extra for it. He didn't get paid extra. He didn't, <laughs> damn it. He didn't even get union <laughs> scale on that one, Al. Yeah. Uh, so prior to Bar, I mean, so your your roots in, in entertainment really um, isn't TV, though, right? Is, no. Is, 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 is it Broadway? or is Well, it? roots? Yeah. You really want to start? Yeah, let's start with your roots. Uh, I was clarinet player. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, boy. Legitimate. Legitimate clarinet player, and the truth is, if I had any discipline in my life, I probably would have been the first chair clarinet player in some symphony orchestra somewhere. Damn. Uh, at the age of puberty, I discovered that more girls went to dances than went to concerts, uh -huh. so I started playing jazz. That's what got you to That's jazz. That's right, yeah. and, and also, it got me up to the microphone. I was the boy singer, because uh -huh. as the girls danced by, I could, uh, you know, check them out. That was it. How <laughs> Linda, man? Well, you kind of like a play. All my whole life, yeah. hormone-driven. Hormone-driven, totally playboy hormone -driven. your whole life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even now? Even now. Hey, my man, hey, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, it for the chicks. <laughs> you know Heather. You know how is great at what he does, and it, it just made sense to me when he said he started off as a clarinet player because how you would, you Tell know, him be, well actually I started off as a song flute player. A what? Song flute. That was <laughs> song flute. That's what they give kindergartners and first oh, graders. Oh, okay, oh, to get yeah. started, Hal. Work, work with me. I got um, you. I got okay. you. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? By, by, <laughs> by second grade, I've graduated to the clarinet. Clarinet. And then I became first chair clarinet all the way up until high school, and then I switched to bass clarinet. Bass clarinet. I, yeah, I played bass clarinet, You're a woodwind too. guy, yeah. So, How's that? Yeah, you, 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 we, we work with our mouths oh, well. Yeah. Damn, how? <laughs> I still play. You still play? I still play, yeah. You still play the clarinet? Right. Well, I actually put it away for about 20 years. Uh -huh. When I went into the theater, uh -huh. uh, I, it was after I got out of the Army. I never never had an interest in theater. And after I got out of the Army, I tried theater, and it, I just ended up in theater. Uh -huh. And I put the horns away because I didn't want to get lured back into the music business. You know, I was concentrating on theater so uh i put it away for about 20 years and then i picked it up again when i was barney actually when you were barney and uh and i've been playing ever since 
how, how much time? I say how much time, but how, um, did you do in the military? Where did you did you? A couple of years. Couple in, of years. The, in those in those days was Korean War. The Korean War, Korean and War. you went abroad. Did you go? No, abroad? no, no, okay. no. Thank heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I fought the Battle of Washington D.C. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's a, that's still a battle we all fight. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um. And so and so Barney Miller. Um. You you put down. You didn't pick back up the horns, but then you you grew this big TV career. What was the difference between theater and, and TV for you back then? Well, uh, th- th- it was mostly theater. Okay. First first uh, half of my life, basically. Okay. Was was theater and. Uh, I did a little, little TV. There was very little TV in New York in those days. Uh-huh. So uh, it was mostly live theater. I did, I've did. i done something like 20 Broadway and off-Broadway productions in my life. It's a oh, lot. How? Lyndon just stunned yeah. on us right there? Yeah. 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 yeah, and uh, so, uh, and I and I kind of tripped into Barney Miller. Somebody came, saw me on, t- on Broadway uh-huh. and decided to... Uh, that's I, the one who should play Barney Miller. That was it. And that's how it started, man. And that's how, that's the how Lyndon is here, man. I'm excited. We're going to talk about your new film, The Samuel Project. You are, you actually brought um, the young man that stars as your grandson in this yes. uh, particular movie, uh, Ryan Ochoa, right? Um, he's here with us. Can we throw him in the interview, too? Sure. Yeah, Ryan, jump in here, man. We, we're going to come back and um, open up these phone lines. 888-742-3345. Give us a call. I'm remembering but I do remember. I don't want to remember. So do me a favor. That's the clip. That's a clip from the Samuel Project in theaters October 5th. We have Ryan Ochoa is here with us, the star of the movie, as well as the one and only iconic Hal Linden. You can't, you can't just say your name, Hal. I got to say it with a little authority right there, man. Shit, the line is, I'm done remembering. And what I do remember, I don't want to remember. That was the line. That's the line. That talks about because that's what the picture's about. Okay, about uh, his his past and how he got to San Diego and mm-hmm. to be a dry cleaner. How he survived uh, basically the Holocaust. Mm-hmm. And and Ryan is my grandson who has this project where he has to tell a story. And it's really about three generations in a family that don't really communicate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not out of animus or anything of that. It's just that everybody's got their own life and their own history, and mm-hmm. there's nothing to talk about between generations. It's not uncommon. Yeah. It's not uncommon. Mm-hmm. And uh, through this project that that uh, Ryan gets in school, mm-hmm. he tells my story, and it, it does it through art, mm-hmm. through drawing, through animation, and... Maybe art is more eloquent than words. Yeah. It brings the three generations back closer. Mm-hmm. So that's what the, that's basically what the Samuel Project is. And then in it, you find out your character uh, finds out that, that your character, um, uh, your grandfather, was um, had to be hid away um, because of um, what was going on in, in Germany at that time, right, right, with the Holocaust. That really kind of started in 1933, if you talk about when Hitler came into That's power right. to about 1945. But you saw about six million Jewish folks that were terminated, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, did you learn anything about the Holocaust playing this role? Absolutely. Right? Well, if I said that it was just this movie yeah. that taught me anything, I mean, it might be pretty sad. But... Uh, I was a great student, straight A's, you know, all through school. Mm-hmm. Had to throw that in there. Okay, there <laughs> started on us. Ryan said that. Right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, ooh, I like that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I mean, I took my studies very serious, and uh, I mean, I can't say I wasn't fascinated by you know that no. time period and learning about. That's World the one War thing II. about being an actor. Yeah, it's very illuminating. Because you have to play all different kinds of people, and you have to know who they are, what they came from, what the situation in the world was when they were growing up, because that's what defines you. Mm -hmm. And so every time you have a character to play, you have to do more investigation. Mm -hmm. So being an actor, when you you think about it, how many different shoes I've walked in in my career, how many different people's lives I experienced 
it's um, you do learn a lot. You learn a lot. And I, and I think that's even why, like, in this day and age, when you see a lot of organizations, a lot of people are fighting for diversity in Hollywood, why that's important, because there's so many ways to tell these stories and so many people who should be available to tell these stories. Have you, from when you first started working in Hollywood to now, well, what are your thoughts on diversity and, and it improving in Hollywood? Uh, when I was uh, in uh, uh, on Simpson Street in... Uh, Fort Apache, the Bronx. Oh. My, my name was Harold Lipschitz. <laughs> uh, this was not a name you could get take to uh, Broadway or Hollywood. Yeah. So it was a different world then. Uh-huh. Believe me, we we, we could have used a little inclusion then. Back then too. Right. Yeah. Uh, we're a country of so many different, so so much different input. Uh-huh. That not to take advantage of all that input is is self defeating. Self defeating. Yeah. How Linden, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Ochoa. What what is that name from, man? What's your last name? Where does that come from? It's uh, Hispanic, actually. Hispanic. Yeah. Okay. Um, from little diversity. My, there, 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 my yeah, my dad, my dad's side of the family. My dad, my mom's like everything, but my dad's. Fifty percent Russian Jew, so I got my Jewish ancestry for the film, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, Hispanic. But he actually never met his dad, so we don't know if this guy's white or uh-huh. <laughs> Hispanic or or anything. So uh-huh. I don't know. So you don't know. Is he yeah. still, he's but still... I think. But from what my great grandmother tells me, she's like, "You're definitely Ochoa is, you know, and it's Hispanic. it's Hispanic." Yeah, look at your hair. All right, go ahead, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Hal, you know what I'm wondering? So many younger folks are just terrified. Oops. Oh. <laughs> is that your, is that that your, that's his phone ring. That's your phone ring? That's cool. <laughs> got that's Barney my phone Miller ring. as his ringer. Excuse me, we'll do this later. <laughs> no, you can answer live on air, man. Go no, 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 no. I don't even know how to wait. We got to wait. Where the hell is this guy? Help him out, right? I got you. you. Grandson, grandson. Go ahead. Got it. Sorry. (laughs) Don't worry. That's embarrassing, isn't it? It It happens more times than you think. You were going to say. Yeah, no worries at all. I'm just thinking about how so many younger people have like this wild fear of getting older. They think that life after 35 has no value. As a wonderful looking older man, can you talk hey, about she which... hitting on me? I think she is, Hal. Go <laughs> for it. Wait a minute. I mean, she does, she ain't single, but go Shut for up. it. Shut up. Okay, give me <laughs> butter up my question. But seriously, like, <laughs> as you've gotten older, what are things that you're enjoying that maybe you didn't think existed at this time? <laughs> uh, my lady friend is sitting right over there. <laughs> Oh, I thought Hello. she was with press. Oh, that's what that is? <laughs> uh, that ain't management? <laughs> don't stop. Yeah. That's all. Don't stop. You just keep going and doing what you do. Uh, the, the, the fact is that I've been an incredibly lucky person to be able to do what I do for this length of time uh-huh. and, and to be able to continue to do it. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, and But... Don't stop. I, you know, <laughs> when it was very busy at one point during the seventies, somebody said to me, <clears throat> "Don't you ever take a vacation? Don't you ever, you know?" Yeah. I said I took all my vacations between nineteen fifty seven and nineteen sixty five. We referred to it as unemployment at the time, uh-huh. <laughs> but I, that, you know, if I get the opportunity to work to do what I do to practice my trade mm-hmm. to, you know keep at it don't stop gotcha. keep at it that's what i've learned from him never uh, stop working never, never stop working uh the samuel project is in theaters october the 5th do you have any other things on your plate no, it's not, actually yeah, starts it's here it's national on national, october 5th october 5th it's okay cool open here you can come and see it on friday if you new like. york city this september 28th i, I got to uh, <laughs> I, I plan on going to, man i'm a fan of you bro you could just you know i don't know pedal mixtapes on the corner and i'm gonna come <laughs> see you brother i'm there for you how um what else is on your plate moving forward since you don't stop uh, um actually <laughs> Uh, a project that, that I was about to start on October 9th uh-huh. uh, unfortunately just lost its financing. So oh. we're, we're, we'll, uh, we'll look for something else now. Looking for something else, yeah. too. Okay, what about you, Ryan? Uh, I'm I'm the type of person I'm always trying to be working on something, but 
I'm a aspiring filmmaker myself, so I shoot like music videos for people. I have a Netflix series coming out uh, produced by Robert Zemeckis, who I've actually done a few movies with before. And me and my brothers are in a music group together. Um, pretty cool that I'm actually in this building because we started our music career because of Eminem. So this is really cool. Oh, dope. Uh, yeah, he's What's like, the group called? The Ochoa Boys. We're a hip hop, hip hop hype artist. <laughs> Eminem and LMFAO are our two. Oh, damn. We started our group that's because a, of Eminem. That's a lot of, wow. that's a lot of somebody, hangovers. So Will somebody translate that for me? The fact yeah. I was just watching Sway like <laughs> yesterday mm-hmm. finishing his Eminem. Oh, take you, take oh man, it was the coolest thing I would do. I'm like, yeah, it's really awesome that I'm here with you. It's awesome. wow, look at that. And look, M's pointing at you. Look at that picture right there. It, man. It, it, <laughs> I feel like I feel like blessed to be in your presence right now and working with the legend. Like I'm just I'm very lucky. That's amazing. Well, that's so. amazing, yeah. man. Get that young man another owl for me. Go ahead, man. Yeah. There you go, man. You all right with me. Well, look, um, I'm blessed to be in your presence today. Thank you. The fact that we even woke up and, uh, and and nothing taken away from you, but even more so, I'm blessed to be in this man's presence yes. me, today. Um, Hal Linden, man, I just want to say thank you for being a part of this show this morning, man. My pleasure. I pre- uh, hey, and anything you are doing, come on up and promote it. Okay. okay. And then let us ask you questions and tell us stories. Actually, excuse me, there is another picture coming. I forgot all about it. Okay. Uh it's called Granddaddy Daycare. I think it's a Netflix. Okay. Yes. So, and believe it or not, I play an old person. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Man, I don't know how you pull that off, man. Yes. <laughs> I work at it. A lot of makeup. It, a lot of makeup. How <laughs> Linda, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ryan Ochoa. Okay. And the name of your group is? The Ochoa Boys with a Z. With a Z? <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah. check them out, man. Who we got coming up next, DB? Well, Ryan just mentioned uh, Bob Zemeckis, and There's we got Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. Leah Thompson up next. Oh, Sway in the morning. Shade 4 or 5. <laughs>